So it is around four o'clock in the morning. I usually wake up around, well, I usually wake up at 3 a.m. Just to do a little bit of self-work before the start, uh, the start of the day. And the reason why I do it is because thoughts precede actions. So you got to know where you're going with clarity before you get going. By waking up at three in the morning, doing my journaling and stating to myself what I'm aiming to attain in my life, it gives the day a certain direction. It gives me, well, it gives my internal compass clarity so that I can see clearly the necessary actions I need to take today in order to move me ahead in the right direction. It started with curiosity. At the time, I was working at a very comfortable job. I was a night shift clerk, you know, and I was always standing in front of a computer for, for eight hours overnight. Um, I always knew I wanted to do something special or outside the box. Since I was a kid, that's just in my nature. It's just the way I've thought. So living inside of this kind of, or what I was perceiving to be a boxed in lifestyle started to really get to me. Even though it was easy money, it was an easy job, but it was not easy to accept that this was all there was to my life. But what kept me there at that job, you know, every night, oh, you know, full-time hours, like night in, night out, I ultimately had to accept was fear. Fear of the bills, fear of rent, and most importantly, fear of what those that were closest to me would think about me if I wanted to do anything different to that. I did this for years, just every night, you know, and I remember every night in front of that computer, I would just be studying pretty much now that I look back, researching, watching endless amounts of success stories of rappers longing to be one <laughs> within myself. And it's so funny, like now that I look back, I'd actually secretly rap inside of my car or in the toilet or when I was by myself at work, never sharing any of my raps, just too, too afraid to, too, too shy. And I eventually hated the fact that I was scared to share what I loved doing so much with anyone. And then one day I emotionally erupted at work. I remember I was by myself at night. I always worked by myself in this, in this job, this clerk job. playing Groundhog Day, feeling like I'm in the wrong story. And that's kind of how it felt. Like I was trapped in this self-imposed cage mentally. And I did it to myself. And that's why it really, it really emotionally just felt, I felt trapped. I felt trapped. Well, life meant nothing but a payslip, 
getting, you know, going to get a mortgage and a car, you know, at the time, that's how it felt. It felt like I couldn't truly express myself to those that I really cared about and to the mirror, I couldn't express myself. I was feeling so blocked. And I remember constantly being in this headspace of suicide and confusion. I was always so confused because what was reflecting at the time was not the idea of me that I had for myself. It was everybody else's expectations and ideas they had for me. And it was just a feeling at the time. At the time, I didn't understand the feeling, but I knew within myself that it was true. As a father and a husband, and being proud to be a father and a husband, this seemed, you know, doing something like this seemed very irresponsible to me and to my environment. And the mental pressure that was weighing on me, it was very heavy at the time. And for a long time too, especially when first starting out, quitting my job and jumping into becoming a rapper with no income at first, especially because I was forced to willingly, you know, I chose to, I voluntarily did this. And it led me to have to go to food banks for groceries. It led me to the point where I couldn't pay rent and that was piling up on us. It led me to not pay bills. It led me to just let my debts pile up on me. And the only reason why, you know, when it came to me responding to them is that I'm a rapper and I have to figure this out so that I can do this for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy as fuck as well as try to explain to my closest, you know, to the people that are inside my home, whilst this is all going, you know, coming outside in, I had to explain inside of my home, this vision that I see inside of myself. This vision that I see inside of myself in what, in this lifetime, I desired to form into reality. I broke down at least twice per week, sometimes even more. I wasn't able to sleep because of how much fear at the start point I was carrying about losing everything at the time. I was always worried about losing the people that were closest to me. I was always worried about uh, going to jail because of how much debt we have or how much trouble I might get us into because of how much it may pile up on us. I was constantly worrying. I could see the end result inside of me, but externally I was still in a very hesitant and uncertain state because you know, I was just so early in my development as an artist. You know, I wasn't even confident as a rapper at the time. So I was tempted to go back to my job. Man, many times I was tempted to go back to my job because everything outside of me, in appearance, including myself and the result that I was looking at at the time 
it indicated, well, it seemed crazy. It seemed crazy to be doing something like this in the environment that I was from and to myself as well. It just seemed crazy, but something inside, this gut feeling, I just felt that I was going in the right direction, even though in here, everything was trying to reason with this direction that here was really urging me to go in. So, yeah, I was tempted to go back. But what kept me from going back to my job was this quiet, almost vague, but definite, definite belief in the end result of me being successful as an independent rapper, making a living as an independent rapper, and spending my days as I wish as a rapper, as a father, as a husband. To uplift and encourage and keep the spirit, the idea the message of the dream, of dreaming big, of envisioning big, and of living bigger, alive and thriving, you know, not only for myself, but for my world, for the next generations to be inspired by and influenced by, you know, motivated by, to aspire for greater heights economically, you know, and most importantly, creatively, not competitively. That was, that's what I identified you know, growing up and seeing the effects of people that would give up on their dreams, you know, because of, you know, whatever the, the situation may have been, but really something that internally was calling them and they would deny because the outside circumstance would show them otherwise. And how a broken dream would create a broken home to a very large degree or, you know, and broken homes would end up, you know, not intentionally, but would end up promoting broken dreams, which would end up creating futures that don't feel healed. And when I noticed that, and how this story hopefully can help to have a better effect on that and serve to, you know, promote that purpose. That's my why. Because there's so many young people in the world just trying to make sense of all this, you know, this reality, this life, what does it mean? And I truly believe that in pursuing whatever it is that you feel right for, is the best place to find those answers for, for, for yourself, for the individual. Because I can't really say that I know the meaning of all this. No, I can't say that I know the meaning of life, but I can say that we're definitely blessed, in my opinion, to create our own meaning, you know, for this brief period of time that we exist. Yeah. And I really believe that the foundation, if in being uh, you know, the definite major purpose, being the foundation of any pursuit, you know, that definite major purpose in particular, to uphold the idea of dreaming, dreaming big and living bigger, whatever that may be defined as for yourself, leads to saving oneself from living a life that doesn't feel authentic to an individual. To rap or die 
means to live life. First of all, find life beyond money, beyond approval from others, beyond your economical freedom. You know, like find what it is that you truly love to do. Um, because that's a great place to start from once you've discovered what it is that you really want to do with your life. To serve people from, because it's, it's from a place of fearlessness. And those individuals tend to end up getting paid way more anyway. You know, for those essentials like money and 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 recognition from your your environment and world, but finding something that is non negotiable when it comes to your pursuits is so important because work is most of life. Most of life you work, so you've got to find something that you love doing. So rap or die really stands for that. Because the endeavor to become a rapper, you know, this endeavor to become a rapper has really been the cause to this effect that I am now and where I am now. You know, because you're either being yourself or trying to be someone else. And that is, being yourself is worth dying for. It really is. Like living as your authentic self. Doing what you authentically want to do. That is to truly live. That's to truly live. You know, and whatever pursuit it is that you're wanting to do, ask yourself if it is something you would do to your dying day. You know? And if it's a yes then risk going all in for it. I'd highly recommend that so that you may be a true expression for your world to eventually be moved by once it has passed the season of testing if it is something you truly want. To rap or die you know, stands true for me, but no matter what pursuit it is, out there, you know, whatever it is that you love to do. It's that or die when it comes to the options. And I highly, and I hope, I hope that you choose to do, not die. <laughs> Go all in. That's pretty much what it means. Got a system in place to make me richer Started off in my head just pictures Now I'm phoning up these angel investors Looking at me like I'm worth the investment Smart as fuck making bigger connections Pretty soon I'll be on television Tonight show I'm the guest appearing Talking about my latest album streaming Taking my families on bigger vacations Broaden their minds with more inspiration Show them that anything you put your mind to You can achieve like I do Quitters never win, winners never quit Put that on your wall and never forget Haters hate and they never fade So don't worry about them, just get to the next Level that the devil's waiting to test Your confidence to be mixed with the best But if you hold on despite now's appearance It will be you at a glorious end So fuck realistic, I'll just pretend Till I manifest what's in my head You cannot see the pressure that is Weighing on me to these immense This is not easy but what really is There's people that need me to overcommit And bring home everything just to lift everyone Out of their pain to live luxurious 
Got kids that need inspiration Got parents that need a vacation Got brothers that need education Where school has failed to raise them Is that not enough motivation? To wanna raise the bar of your standards? To wanna dream of a bigger mansion? So you can give back to the hands that Believed in you before everyone did So no matter how big you get Remember that you ain't shit Without them